Good morning, and right about now is when the loss of time kicks in for the cruise. So when you go on a longer cruise like this, a seven day cruise, about day, I guess this would be day four maybe, because day getting on would be day one. Day two was first day at sea, day three was the second day at sea, day four is today. So this is about when you lose track of time and it's great. I this is the you, real cruising feeling. I wanna give you an update to um, the, the man's uh, bathing suit is still out there. Did we tell him about this? I thought we did. There is a, there's Somebody a bathing, lost their suit bathing suit <laughs> on our balcony. We don't know where it came from. It's a magic bathing suit. <laughs> came out of nowhere. It's here to grant us three wishes. Jackson wanted to show you his bacon. Oh yeah. Because oh, but let's show you our breakfast. We bread. got breakfast. We got uh, room service breakfast. Your grandpa got some corned beef hash and some eggs. I got this is the DCL Express breakfast where it's eggs, sausage, bacon, grilled tomato, hash brown. We got just plates on plates of bacon. Oh yeah, the bacon's good. I got the like Southwest hash. So it's just two eggs with potatoes and peppers and onions. And bacon. We got grandma some waffles. Mm -hmm. Jackson got some waffles as well. Some Mickey waffles and some fruit. Like I said, plates on plates of bacon. We got some pancakes. We got some uh, French toast. It's called very, very, very French toast or something like that. Wow. We got just a ramekin of mayonnaise for some reason. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not sure why. I'm an apple juice. This is apple juice right here for you. This is still your apple juice over here, buddy. This is the apple juice you just got in there. I'll get that apple juice. Okay, well we can pour I it into there. One with the lid on. And then we got two orange juices and some yeah. coffees and stuff like so, that. So, but that's one of the perks of having the the suite with the table is that you can order room service from whichever uh, rotation like rotation restaurant does the breakfast in the morning. You can have that delivered to your room if you're in a suite with a table. But this is really nice just to be able to sit here, look at this view. Look at those pants out there. <laughs> yeah, but the ocean looks amazing, look. Yeah. Hopefully you guys will be able to see a time lapse of us coming into port yeah. right about now. All right, so we're <clears throat> going to the adults only section. We're actually in like supposed to be, let me wait till the wind goes up. So we're supposed to be at St. Martin today, but because there was a medical emergency yesterday, we were a little bit late and then there was some winds, so we're even later. So we have an onshore time of 11.30. So it's like 9.30 right now. So we're gonna head to the shops and see if we can do some shopping because we're not in port yet. And that should be, they should be open, right? That's the question, are they open? No, that's Bulgari. That's expensive stuff. We're gonna go over here to Sea Treasures. This is the gift shop. It is open. Sleepy afternoon here. Look There's so many so butterflies. butterflies. It's the world's largest collection of butterflies in the Caribbean. We've got two flying around our veranda. Well, it's not the, uh, what is it? The world's largest collection of butterflies in the Caribbean. It's just the largest collection of butterflies. Look at them. Look at them all. Yeah. What is happening right now? There's so many butterflies. Buddy, do you see all these butterflies? Yeah. I'm gonna be Mirabelle. Oh. Who are you gonna be? Um. I'm actually. I'm actually being. Jackson Storm's Okay, yeah. Jackson Storm loves butterflies. <laughs> it's got the world's largest collection of caterpillars, too, then. Oh, oh right. Yeah. yeah, that only. That and chrysalises. Sense. So, wait, who's the. I thought the sister who did the, the flowers. Isabella? Yeah, isn't she the one that would be the butterfly one? No, it's Mirabelle. She loves butterflies. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just thought the other one, because the flower one. Yeah. Hmm, okay. They go together butterflies and flowers. Yeah. And strength. <laughs> and also capybaras. Bears. All one big family. Who's and then like being able to listen really well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I figured it out. All the butterflies are over here on this side because the magical bathing suit is over there. Oh yeah. There There's it is. so many. I can't believe how many there are. Okay. After a long period of time of not doing anything. <laughs> well no, we were doing a lot of stuff. Where's the eating food? Well we were trying to figure out like how to get off the ship and where to go and eating the baby. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't come up with any solutions. No we didn't. But we are getting off the ship and we're just going to yeah. wing it. I mean, See where we end I, up. I think that's sometimes that's just the way to do it. Yeah. You know, we didn't we didn't plan any excursions because we only but, have a few hours. Well, we were just talking to some guys and they were saying that um, a lot of the excursions were delayed anyway. Oh, okay. So, 
Back one. We would have been delayed even if, even if we did book one. Yeah. We are at St. Martin. Well, I think all we really have time to do is just kind of like wander around and do a little bit of shopping, really. Welcome to St. Martin. Get some cheese. Oh, we should learn about this guy, Dr. Albert Claudius Watley. So that guy, uh, I guess, changed St. Martin into a place that people could stay and work rather than where you had to like leave the island to get work. And he brought the tourist industry here. So he was in power. He's a political leader for more than 40 years. Feels very islandy. Whoa, what's that cave up there? Look at that. All right, so we made it on to St. Martin and we're trying to figure out what to do. Like I said, we were playing by like going by the seat of our pants and we're trying to figure it out. We were thinking maybe we would take a water taxi over to a beach, but the water taxi is cash only and we don't have any cash on us right now. So we're trying to find another option to get to a beach. Maybe we're gonna see if there's a taxi that'll take the car. I think I just saw a rooster walking through. There's a rooster over there. All right, so we went over and we talked to the people at the taxi stand and they pointed us to this little blue building right here. And that is an ATM. It's a $6 charge to use the ATM. And it gave me out, I took out $100 and it gave me two 50s. Uh, but it said it would give us 50s, 10s, or it said it was 20s or 50s. And so, just be aware, if you take out 100, you're not getting 20s, you're getting 50s. All right, we got a van, we're going to the beach. <laughs> it's been exciting. Yeah, um, I would say do some prior planning before you come. That would probably help you to have a better time. Yeah. But I am excited to check out the beach. The water looks so pretty. Yeah. So I can't wait for that. So we have found the closest beach to us. You can see the ship off there in the distance. About a seven to 10 minute taxi ride. Cost us $13 to get out here. As soon as we got out of the taxi, we were pretty much like accosted. Oh yeah, they want you to buy like, everything, which yeah. makes sense. That's how they make their money. But we are only gonna be here for about an hour. So we, yeah. didn't, we didn't do any of the chairs or anything. Yeah, but they will let you rent some chairs and stuff like that if you want. It really is a beautiful island though. So we decided to stop over here in the shade of the trees take advantage of nature's umbrella. We're in the waters of St. Martin. We're here. Yeah. A baby I feel like here, where? that's a child laying on the grass or laying on the ground. Admittedly, this was okay for a last minute trip, like no no plans, but I think there probably are better. What? This? I think it's just a rock. Yeah, it's a buoy or some kind. Probably like a crab trap or something. You guys tell me what it is. You guys are going underwater right now. A buoy. Look at this. Oh, maybe this way. It's beautiful. Today's little excursion of ours makes me want to go back to the ship after we're done here and talk to concierge and see if we can get a shore excursion for tomorrow. That's like a specific beach that we can go to and like go to it. You know what I mean? rather than just kind of winging it like we did here. But it's okay because it's okay that we winged it because it's such a short trip out here. Like we only really have an hour to be in the water. So it would be kind of like silly to make a whole excursion out of it. But I think we will try to make an excursion for tomorrow on Puerto Rico. All right, bud, we're way out here now. Yeah. Should we look down and see how deep it is? Let's see, we wanted to go out past the red buoy. I can still see the bottom. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. 
Alright, give me a big smile, bud. I uh, turned on the camera because there was some fish jumping, so I thought maybe there was a bigger fish that we could see. And I was looking, but I don't have my goggles, they're in the bag. I just decided I would like not, because we weren't going to be spending very much time here, I was like, I don't need my goggles. Probably should have just gotten them. Alright, that's it for us from St. Martin. We're headed back to the ship. Just a quick little jaunt. But it was, I, I don't know, I started out oh, a no. little bit upset. I think Jackson's sad that we're leaving. Are you sad we're leaving? You ready to go back on the ship? We can go on the on the clear slide. Oh yeah. Yeah, so Good there's time. still fun stuff to do on the ship. We yeah. just had a little bit less time because the ship docked late. Yeah. We did it as much as we could and I had a good time. It I was did beautiful. too. It was beautiful. I do have to admit, I was a bit grumpy at the beginning when we first got off, but I feel a lot better now. So, now that I had a little dip in the ocean. Oh, is this the Star Wars? It's a sci-fi museum. The guys, sci-fi museum. Oh man, I, I wanted to go there. I saw a Star Horse guy in there. Yeah, Jackson calls it Star Horse and I love that. <laughs> um, there's a the white guy with Storm. Yeah. A Stormtrooper, yeah. Yeah. Let's get some roadie, man. That sounds great. Yeah. We gotta come back. Right? Just to go to the roadie hut. Oh, I guess they abbreviate St. Martin with SXM. Ooh, as we're getting back to the ship, what's this up on the top of this hill up here? What do you think that is, bud? There it is. The Disney Fantasy. And back to the ship. I'll be glad to get into the air conditioning. It's 89 degrees out here today. Pretty steamy, but beautiful. The ocean was nice. Look at the look at the bow Whoa, here, buddy. Wait up for daddy. Alright, look at that. We can see Goofy riding a surfboard. I don't know what Donald's doing. He's like relaxing on a beach ball or something. And then Pluto's just swimming. He's doggy paddling. But Mickey and Minnie out on the jet ski. Is Mickey wearing a crown or is that something else? Is this hat is that Minnie's hat flying off? I think that's Minnie. Is Minnie driving the jet ski? Alright, so we're back on board. Oh yeah, this is like the fish extender type thing right here. This is where they leave you something. That wasn't an extender, but that was a gift that somebody left on somebody's room as part of a gift exchange type thing like a fish extender. But we are headed to deck 11 to get hot dogs. Right, bud? Before we head down to get our hot dogs, like we came up to deck 13. Deck 13 is just above the room that we're in. This is deck 13. This is the concierge lounge or the concierge sun deck. You could go in there. We can go in there and I can show it to you, but I want to show you this radar over here or satellite. So you can see this, there's a pool over here called Satellite Falls, which this is where I would be hanging out all the time if I was like into like going into pools all the time because look at all the shade over here and there's just like a rainfall type thing here. There's a bunch of people in it, so I'm not gonna show the actual pool itself. Actually, I can do this. You can see behind me, you know, it's like a little like waterfall type pool. Yeah, I never showed off the concierge sun deck, but this is it. And there's a little pool over there and we can go down to the lounge through here they also have like sunscreen and stuff up here available and it's all shaded too it's a very nice nice area to hang out in up here on the sun deck again we got oh what's that there's a phantom this is a soda we're not gonna have a soda buddy okay oh. but i like the orange i know you like the orange but we're not gonna have a soda but this is all stuff that's available on the sun deck dasani's and, and sea ginger ales and sprite and coke and Fanta. I just noticed there was a ventilation system all around the sun deck here. I wonder if that's pumping in like cool air or what? It is, feels nice up here. All right, Tow Major is gonna make us some lunch. Little lunch of champions. Hot dog, chicken tenders, and french fries. Feel bad for the plumbers on this cruise ship, right buddy? All right, we're all done with our hot dog. We had a little bit of ice cream. Looks like some rain is coming in across the island. Look at this, buddy. That is awesome looking right there. Wow. Yeah. So now that we're done with the hot dog and everything, we had a little bit like late lunch. Dinner is at 5.45. It's about 4.15 right now. Just enough time to go down the clear slide. The aqueduct. So, what we're going to do. I did Aquamouse. Aquamouse is on the Wish, buddy. We're not on the Wish. We're on the Fantasy. The Wish is the brand new one with the slide for the kids club. So every day Jackson takes his wristband off and every day they measure him and he puts it on again. Said it was a 10 minute wait, but it looks like there's nobody on the slide at all. <laughs> all right, come on in. All right, feet up high. Here we go. Whoa! 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 This is a big crowd. Whoa! 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 
it? Yeah! Wait, there we have a pool deck. Look at how good they treat you in the concierge lounge, Jackson. It's spicy. That's right. What's this stuff called? Cloudium Blue. Alcohol free. All right, after the slide, time for dinner. So we're headed to Royal Court. For Pirate Night. For Pirate Night. Yarr. Put my hands up to play my song. The butterflies fly away. Not in my head like, yeah. Listen to this on violin. Okay, we're here for our special pirate night at the royal court. We're gonna be royal pirates. The most fanciest of pirates. All right, so we're just looking for a couple of grandma and grandpa pirates. Let's see, where are they? There they are, I found them. Hello. All right, so tonight is pirate night, Special specialty cocktails. We got vegetable samosas. Lime marinated shrimp, calypso crab cake, yellow beetroot capaccio, carrot cilantro soup, chilled mango soup, fennel orange and quinoa salad, baby gem. Ooh, that's what I want a baby gem. Let's see, we've got treasure of the sea, marinated Caribbean grouper filet. Jerk chicken, lamb shank, strip loin. Here's what I got, my baby gem salad right here. Got some blue cheese, Thousand Island dressing, and some candied pecans. And a radish. What's this music? It's pirate music. Oh, okay. Our I got the lime and cilantro marinated shrimp with corn and peppers and one sweet potato. One single sweet potato. There it is. Not even a whole sweet potato. <laughs> and I got the lamb shank, green beans, and mashed potatoes. Grandma got a short rib salad. Grandpa and Jen. We got, got the treasure of the sea. No, the treasure of the no, sea. No, no, no. We also got the King George's Roasted Privateer Strip Loin with thyme roasted potatoes, savory buttered savoy cabbage, and Yorkshire pudding and rosemary wine sauce. There they are, they're taking the, taking the, the shrimp out of the shell for us. It's all part of the show. For dessert, I got the Bananas in Paradise layered banana bread with hazelnut fudge filling served with banana spice puree. Some of these are not my favorite flavors, but I thought it would be interesting to try. What'd you get, Grandma? You got the pineapple and coconut ice cream sundae. Grandpa got the, uh, the the tart, the cheesecake, the macadamia nut cheesecake. On the way out, he's playing Taylor Swift. Shake it off, shake it off. All right, after dinner, elevators are full, so trying to make it up to deck 11. From deck three, taking the stairs. The whole reason we're coming up to 11 is because Pirates in the Caribbean stage show is tonight. Mickey's Pirates in the Caribbean. Because it's pirate night. So, trying to find a spot to watch it. I feel like it's in 15 minutes or so. I don't know if we'll have a spot. Maybe we will. I did come up to deck 12 because I think we'll be able to find more spots up here. By the way, it's humid out. Look at this fogginess. I just realized there's like a kids section in the front there. So they separate it out so just kids can go up there. Jeremy Timbers, what has we here? And you will meet into the Brethren Court? Or does I need to call the zoo and inform them that all the party animals have escaped? Please welcome Mickey's Pirate Crew!
mind vessel. This ship is mine! <laughs> now listen here, Hook, but this is our ship, and I intend to get it back with a captain's challenge! If I win, you walk the plank! Your crew succeeds. We get the ship back. And you will leave here in all of us chant, Hook is a codfish. Do we have an agreement? Agreed. Get the captain's challenge officially. Begin. This must be tested, so-called pirate crew. Now, the first thing any real pirate knows is that when a captain gives you an order or asks you a question, what do you say? Actually, some time later, so the pirate like show, the Pirates of the Caribbean, ended at like well, it was like 8:30, and then the fireworks aren't until 10:15. This is unusual. It's humid out too, by the way, fogging of the camera. It's unusual for I don't seem to remember that happening, but that's the way that it is happening. I thought I could go through here, but I cannot. So I gotta go around. I guess I could watch them from right here. Like the fireworks are gonna be out there. I'll just watch them from right here. This is fine. So I did come over and I am here on this side, on the starboard side, looking at the stage here and we're gonna watch the fireworks over there. Welcome, I'm the handsome Hugo and this Jack Sparrow's crew. Oh, there should be a captain in there somewhere. All of you would like something a little more flashy and a lot more explosive. Well then, all out of cannons, fill the powder, blow those fuses. Here's to my new crew and new adventures. Pirates life for me!
who can tell what lies ahead. Here's luck and a fair wind to you. And remember, dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Well, that was a fun night. I didn't, I didn't remember that that's what the pirate show was. Also, I forgot that there was the teen club does a flash mob after the fireworks. So if you are interested in seeing that, stick around after the fireworks into Club Pirate to hopefully see maybe your teenager or the teens get out there and do their little flash mob. They like practice on it a few days and then they get out there and they really give it their all. It's fun to watch. It was a good day. Had a little bit of a like a stumble in St. Martin, but then we turned around. Got to go to a nice beach, got to see a little bit of the island, got to hang out. Then we went down the slide a bunch, and we ate some delicious food, and then we came back and now we're heading to sleep. So, all in all, it was a fantastic day. Tomorrow, we're off to San Juan, Puerto Rico. So, all in all, fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Oh.